Hi, I'm Chloe Pang and I'm from Republic Polytechnic. I'm currently studying in Industrial and Operations Management and I'm also a student entrepreneur. So, I have a sister as well as a single parent mother. Before the pandemic, I was a very carefree person, someone that is like a happy-go-lucky person. I wouldn't have a goal, I didn't like have my ambitions and all. So during that whole time, my mom actually came home and just told me like, hey, we have to cut down on like McDonald's and we have to like not use aircon and all as well. My desire to become an entrepreneur, wanting to start my business, just grew as much. So I went to take part in like competitions as well as like events and programs that can help me to like earn fundings for my startup. One such program is like a NYC program. So we actually get to interact with Indonesian students and even come up with like a solution to solve a problem that Indonesia faced. I actually learned how to be like much more innovative and how to be more clear on my problems and like what I want to be solving. And also another thing would be like how fast they think and how like they know that whatever problems come, there's always a solution for it. So in my current startup, I actually applied this by making sure that I know what is my goal, like what I want my startup to like solve. At first, when I first started entrepreneurship, I was aiming towards money because of where I came from, like my family background and all, and what I really want. And as I move on and journey through entrepreneurship, I figure out that there's nothing that I really like doing, which is helping others. Because if you realise entrepreneurship, when you're inventing products and all, you're actually helping other people as well. My favourite quote is, whether you think you can or you can't, you're always right, by Henry Ford. So what this means to me is actually, whether you think you can do it, that means you can do it, or you can't do it, that means you can't do it.